everybody's scared of the unknown and this was the unknown Ten-year-old Freddie May and his brother were playing in a schoolyard with a group of boys when they saw something strange in the sky. It was getting late, just about time to, you know, to quit playing because we couldn't see. And uh, we seen this, looked like a ball of fire come across the, the, the mountain and over our heads and you could tell it was slowing down and, and coming in. The boys ran to the May house. May's mother, his 17-year-old cousin, and their dog went to investigate. Climbing the hill where the fireball had landed, they were met with a rolling bank of smoke and a strange odor. I've described it like the old televisions that had the tubes in them and they'd burn out and you get that smell, something like that. The dog ran ahead, barking frantically. A moment later, it retreated, terrified. That was something up there that was moving around, you know. His cousin noticed two lights hovering nearby. He turned his flashlight toward it, and the group saw something unimaginable. It was kind of hovering, uh, you know, no legs or prongs sticking down to hold it up, and it moved. The top part, of course, it, it went in like a ace of spades. From that down, it was like tubes. They were all the way around the thing, you know, in a circle. They figured about 10. 10 to 12 feet. I've always described it as two like portholes on a boat. The eerie thing emitted a sharp hiss and suddenly began to glide toward them. Of course, that scared us. May's cousin, sickened by the fog, vomited, and his mother found a splash of an oily substance across her clothing. It was a night the group will never forget. I know I was afraid to go outside for a month after that, especially at night. Mm -hmm. 